All right, now we're going to turn and bring in our doctor. Doctor, this is my first day co-anchoring on this show, and I do not know how to pronounce your name, so before I ruin what is this a beautiful is Dr. name. This is Dr. Aditi Nurkar. Dr. Nurkar is a wonderful addition to our show. Thank you so much. I saw the name, and it's beautiful, and I could not say it wrong, yeah. so I stopped, and thankfully Morgan jumped in. All right, so let's start with this Pfizer booster shot news. The CDC and FDA say we don't need it, but Pfizer saying it might help. What do you think? Do you think Pfizer jumped the gun with this announcement? You know, Ellison, it's really interesting because Pfizer and other drug companies will continue to iterate whatever formulations they have. And that's not uncommon. And that's just something that they're doing. And they've been doing this for lots of vaccines and drugs. And it's just a natural process. I think this was a very strong leadership move on the part of the FDA and the CDC to say that currently based on data, all of the data that we have across many countries, it shows that the vaccines are incredibly effective, even against the circulating Delta variant. This is a time of great urgency here in the U.S. for the Delta variant in certain pockets of the country. And this statement really encourages vaccine confidence and really squashes a lot of speculation that may or may not have been there. Okay, so Dr. Nukar, now even more guidance coming from the CDC saying that no masks are necessary for fully vaccinated children in schools. But what about those younger children who cannot get the vaccine just yet? Are masks still the only way to keep themselves, keep them safe, particularly from this new Delta variant? Yes. So wonderful question, Ellison. As a mom and an educator, it's something I've been thinking a lot about. Keeping children under 12 safe, of course, masks, physical distancing. But the most important thing that we can do to keep kids under 12 safe is to be vaccinated. Adults, children over 12, when we vaccinate all of those people who are eligible, we decrease the circulating virus in the community. And that can do wonders to keep kids under 12 safe. All right, Dr. Aditi Nukar, physician at Harvard Medical School. It is nice to meet you. And thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Allison.